Hello Anonymous. Welcome to the Anonymous Propaganda Video Editing Tutorial. First off, we want to introduce you with your new weapon in the battle for the Internet, the Microsoft Movie Maker. It is a standard tool installed on every modern Windows operating system. With this program, you will be able to create propaganda videos, raid videos, and the like. But first, you must learn the basic controls. The main elements of Movie Maker are the menu bar, the collection library overview, and the folder overview, a preview area with navigation and cutting bar, and the timeline. This video will only explain the essential parts of the program, which you will need to create a movie. Everything else will be explained by Captain Obvious. When first opening Movie Maker, you are presented with either an empty project or the last one you've been working on. In that case, to start a new movie project, click on File in the menu bar and select New Project. In the same menu point, you can also import movie clips, pictures or sound files and record movie clips with your webcam. Via Save Movie File, you can save your finished project as a WMV formatted video. The next important menu point is Extras. Here you can add titles to your videos, for example, movie titles, subtitles or credits. You can also find many different video effects and transition effects there. In the Collections Library, you can find an overview of the video effects, video transitions and folders containing collections of work files which you will create and fill during the process. Next to the Collections Library, you'll see the content of each folder which you can add to the timeline per drag and drop. Effects are also applied to movie clips this way. Beneath the preview area, you'll find the controls to play, pause and stop your movie. You can also jump back and forward between cutscenes and single frames. On the far right, there are two icons one for cutting a movie clip or sound file on its current position and the other for taking snapshots of the frame currently viewed. The timeline is the most important piece in which the single clips and sound files are assembled to create a movie. Depending on how you'd like to assemble your clips, you can choose between a storyboard view and a timeline view. I recommend using the timeline view for here you can clearly see how long your movie clip actually is and extend pictures to the exact length you need. This is essential if you want to time your scenes precisely. If you feel unsure, use the storyboard view. Above the timeline you see some icons. With the first one, you can balance the sound between the video and audio files. For example, if you wish only the sound from an imported song, drag the regulator all the way to audio music. The next icon is for recording your own sound via microphone. For example, if you'd like to comment directly on your video. With the last icon, you can change your timeline view to storyboard view and vice versa. This completes our overview of the most important features of Movie Maker. When you have taken a good look at the program, please proceed to the next tutorial unit.